Ian fucking McShane, guys. Come on. Come on. He's everywhere, isn't he? He's everywhere. He's at me kids' primary. He went to my brother's secondary. He's from round here. He's in John Wick 3 tonight. Playing the same role he always plays. But he was good in Sexy Beast, wasn't he? I think that's what... That was the catalyst. That's what took his. That's what took him forward in his acting career from fucking Lovejoy. But brilliant, sexy beast is the is the the ultimate Ian McShane. Uh, scary, scary character. Yeah, brilliant. Um, yeah, I tell you what I watched tonight. I watched um, Tomorrow War, and you know what? I watched that other. Uncle Junk the other week, the Zombie Army one. That was a load of crap. I'm sorry. Zombie Army, Undead Army, whatever it was called on Netflix. What a load of shit that was. Return of the Dead. I can't. Undead Army, or whatever it was called. It went on so long, as Tomorrow War did, but it was really good. It had a bit of a. Chris Pratt, I love Chris Pratt, you know, I loved him in Passengers. I thought, well, what a lovely movie, Passengers. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant movie. Um, but yeah, Chris Pratt in Chris Pratt in Tomorrow War, pretty good cast actually. It's got humour. It's a homage to every single sci-fi film ever made. Um, and when you think the film's over, it's you know I don't know if any of you have seen Clerks Two, another film I go on about a bit too much. But the the moment where uh, Randall says about Lord of the Rings and he's saying the 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 key moment where the film finished where everyone else would have thought the film finished it didn't it carried on for another 45 minutes so it does in this as well but it's really good um it's you know it's just good with chris pratt in there's always gonna be a bit of humor but actually there's some shockingly violent bits as well and it's actually uh the cgi is actually like anything else but on the aliens, I don't want to tell you too much when he has it's, it's actually really good. Actually, I was pretty impressed with the. Is it the C? I don't know if it's the CGI I was impressed with or the actual alien creation. I thought it was really good actually. So yeah, really worth a watch. That's Tomorrow War. Watch that tonight. It had me laughing, crying, um, jumping for joy, you know, and, and and anxiety and all the rest of it. It had everything in that film, and it was dis it's pretty disposable. Uh, but it's good fun, so I really recommend that Tomorrow War. Um, I don't know if it's on Netflix or Google, I don't know what it's on now. But yeah, really good. So, I've got a pick-up. And this is this pick-up is through watching Retro Ghetto. Um, and he did a top ten uh, games you can make money on. And I don't know why I ended up watching it. I didn't watch it for... You know, I always try and get to watch his stuff, but I didn't watch it for the the money. I just I actually at first I thought it was like a, a bit of a get rich quick thing. I suppose it is in a way. Uh, I started watching it, but I was just curious to know what the games were. And one of the games I bought on his say so because I've seen this game going for like I hope it is the game in here. I'm not gonna check, but uh, for like 40, 50 quid on eBay, more 80. I swear I got a sort for like 80 odd quid on eBay. 150 quid, 150 dollars. I can't remember. <coughs> and he said it was available at CEX for 20 quid. Um, and I jumped on there, and it is here. It is. It is Splatterhouse for the Xbox 360. Now, I bought this for a particular reason. The particular reason I might not get to do, typical me. But um, I did want to get this. I saw Geordie Slasher uh, put it on his show. Uh, I think we had a bit of a chat about it, didn't we, Mark? I can't remember now. And then Callum put it on um, Retro Ghetto. Uh, sorry, put it on the other day. And he mentioned it for 20 quid. Now, I've, I, I was pretty surprised going for that price. I think there was a time to get it for 8 quid. Them days are long gone, like he says on his show. These games are going up in price. So when he told me twenty quid, I grabbed it quick. And I've looked in CX. Some I've, I don't know how CX do it. I don't know if they just buy get the stock from other stores, or they just got like a massive warehouse of stuff somewhere. I don't know how they do it. Or if you trade into that shop, does it go on sale in that shop? Because when you go in, the shelves are bare in the Manchester one. 
Um, but yeah, they, they, had, they had it in and I was really chuffed to get it. Now, I bought this for a particular reason. It's a bit of a project. Fucking hell, man. Whether I'll get round to doing it, I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I can't get anything done at the minute. You know what? It was debatable whether I even did a quick show tonight because, quite honest with you, I can see how saturating it, it can become because uh, it gets to a point with the, with the channel that I'm always... I've actually got to a point where I'm, I'm always thinking about the channel and it can be quite distracting from everything else that I, I want to do. So I was actually going to skip it this week and just have a bit of a chill and do other things, but... I don't know, is it addictive? Did the bug get me and, and drag me into into the uh, the the realms of the debt of the shed to, to do another show? Maybe it did, I don't know. But yeah, so I got Splathouse for the Xbox 360. Uh, I think you can get this on PS3 as well. <clears throat> now, I never liked the look of this, but when I saw um, Geordie Slasher playing it on his show, the, the, the scenes he cut scenes he put on his video look really good, so... Um, it made me want to buy it and it, it had something had come to my mind that I wanted to do so yeah so I got it I'm now an owner um, I'll be honest with you guys I'm not a massive fan of the cover um, considering how cool the retro see I've only got a dodgy car and it's not even a proper splatter house it's the streets of race but I got this a couple of years ago um, but you know I know it's the, nothing you can do things move on but I would have expected a little bit, but a bit more of an artistic cover than uh, the sort of purgy style uh, cover, but there you go. So yeah, so Splatterhouse. So I'm going to do a bit of a quick dip tonight, guys. So I've uh, got the Tub of Fate. I've got the, the box of treasures and anxieties. Um, Provided to me by SLR Mod Shop that, you know, I can't say it enough, um, that he generously provided me. And it, this must feel like it's going on forever. But when you see what's in here, it quite easily could. And But in fairness, my I think when I started this, my subscriptions were at like, I don't know, 158 or 160. And now there's something like 170. So... They've gone up by 10 subscribers. That'll do me. So, um, not that it's anything to do with this, but I did say I'd do it at 200, but it takes such a long process and it's unfair to keep people hanging on. So, we're going to do another bit of a dip tonight, guys, and I hope you all like it. So, here we go. So, we've got a bundle of names in here, and we're going to pull indiscriminately from the Beef in OK Sauce Tub of Fate. So here's the first one for the evening. And it is Salacious Rum, which happens to be a take of one of my favourite characters. Well, my favourite sci fi movie is a character from that film, uh, Salacious Crumb, uh, who was the little, um, what do you call it, familiar of Jabba the Hutt. So that's Salacious Crumb. I'm sure it's pure coincidence, uh, Salacious Rum, pure coincidence that name came about. But my friend, you're going to be winning something very soon from the box of delights. And we're going in, and I'm going to go easy on this. I'm going to, I'm going to put, the first thing that I come to come to sight is an Ever, EverDrive GB Pro, so it's a Game Boy Pro. Oh, sounds very interesting. Have a look at this. I'm really unfamiliar with the EverDrive stuff, so I imagine it's a sort of cart with a load of games on it or something. What am I doing? Push it up. Oh, look at that. That's really nice, actually. EverDrive Pro. And that's courtesy of SLR Mod Shop. That's quite impressive, actually. You know, you look at something and think, shit, why don't I see that and pull it out sooner and keep it for yourself? It's one of them. So that's an EverDrive Pro, and that is to Salacious Rum. So make sure you give us a shout, mate. It's Mike's Shed at hotmail.com. Make sure he gives you your address, because I've got a little build-up of stuff there, guys. You might need a bit of reminder. You've got Game Racer, 
you know, you got that Atari bundle. Come on, give us a shout, mate. The yours. Um, and that's if you're still um, in business as a YouTuber. I can understand these things like, my God, I've had enough and uh, you want a break from it. So that's cool. Just let me know. I'll keep all of them for you. Um, but if, if, if not, I'll, I'll give it a, a week or two and um, I'll probably look at, you know, donating these to, to to someone else if if you're genuinely not interested. So don't worry about that. So we've got a uh, Ginger Hippie Gaming. You still got a uh, you've still got the Manx TT, and we have Retro Perspective with the Mecha Salt Two, and Retro Venture UK. I think I tap you up, mate. Uh, but you've you've won a little bundle of Xbox free Xbox games original. So give us a shout. Uh, everyone else so far has got theirs. Um, I hope you're happy with Any problems, give us a shout. Um, I did get everything off last week, so yeah. So that is Salacious Rum. You have got the Everdrive Pro. I'm going back in the box now. Oh, we're going back in the tub. I'm going to pick something out from here. A name. And it is. Savage 73, you're about to win something, my friend. I'm gonna go in the box. Savage 73. Let's see what we've got here. I'm just gonna stick my hand in. Right, Savage 73. You have won. You know, I'll get the box down. It's endless. Endless. Courtesy of SLR Mod Shop, you have won a Nintendo bundle. You've got Super Mario Brothers, which looks uh, Japanese. And you have Mario Kart DS, which is brilliant. What a find, actually, again. These are, I don't know if I noticed in there, but yeah. So, a bit of a bundle coming your way there, mate. So that is Savage73. If you can just drop me on Mike's Shed hot, at hotmail.com, uh, your address details and get them to you. Again, we've still got outstanding winners. So I'm going to make this the last one for tonight. I'll sort of done more. For, I knew people are clearing the decks so and get rid of this stuff. I do more, I do a, a, a bonanza, but I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm going to just keep it simple because I've got a build up of stuff and I know I'll forget who has won what or I'll mix up the names or something. I'll cock it up. So, guys, give me your details, um, PO box, whatever you want to do, or if you don't want them, just let us know and I'll get them back in the, in the drawer or donate them to a uh, worthy cause. So, yeah, so here we go again. So that's Savage 73. And we're all back in the tub. I'm going to mix it up a bit. And we have Nath Retro 1. My friend, you're about to win something phenomenal. I'm going to go back in. Let's see what we got. Hang on, let's do this. Let's do this as I was doing it before. Let's do this properly. Okay. So I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to put my hand in. One or two things in here. The hell is this? So, Nate, I actually picked up these two items so you can have them both. That's Nathan, Nathan Retro. You've got tire splitters on the Xbox and Lolo Pal version, Lolo 2 Pal version for Nintendo. So, you've got tire splitters Xbox and Lolo 2 Nintendo. Now, these, some of these things may be of no use to you whatsoever. Just say, Mike, get them back in the raffle, in the draw, and give them to another, a worthy candidate for this box of fun. Okay, so that's Naif Retro 1. Okay, guys, that's me done. I'm going to wrap it up here for this evening. Thank you very much for stopping by Mike's Shed, and I will see you guys soon. And don't have sleepless nights about Ian McShane, because I am. See you later, guys. Take care.